Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about breast cancer and how it's passed on to family members to answer the question, will my kids get breast cancer? Before I do, I just want to invite you to join us May 21st for our first live stream. We'll be taking questions and answers and talking about how to cope with a breast cancer diagnosis and its treatment. You can click below for your free invitation. So a lot of people ask, are my kids going to get breast cancer? And there are two types of things when we talk about the genes or genetic abnormalities of cancer that I want to differentiate. The first is that breast cancer is due to alterations within the cells that they were normal cells and then there are genetic alterations that uh, be, make the cells less normal. So the cells become cancers due to multiple gene mutations. These are mutations within the cancer self themselves. These are not the kinds of genes we talk about being passed on. I'll get to those in just a moment. So when we talk about genes having multiple, cancer cells having multiple genetic alterations or genes that go wonky within a cancer cell, that's what we're talking about. So normal cells have a series of checks and balances that are all uh, managed by proteins within each cell. And proteins are coded for by genes. If there are abnormalities in the genes that code for the proteins that control cancer cells, that's when cancer develops. So those mutations are not passed on to children. If we look at a tumor genomic assay, for example, we're looking at the genes within the tumor themselves. So one brand for a gene assay is the 21 gene assay, the brand name of which is Oncotype. And when we do that, we're getting a sort of genetic fingerprint of your cancer or the cancer in somebody you love. Those again are not passed on to kids. So uh, next I'm going to talk about genes that we inherit from our parents that we do pass on to our children or that we can pass on to our children. One of the most well-known of these is the BRCA gene. There's one and two. Some people call them BRCA1 and BRCA2. The way it's spelled is all capital letters, BRCA1 or 2. So these are the most sort of famous genes, if you will. There are others, and we cover those in other videos. But these are genes that we inherit from one of our parents. Sometimes they arise spontaneously. These are mutations in genes that we've inherited from our parents that were normal in our parents, but when the cells that made us were being formed, a mutation happened. But in general, we're talking about inheriting these genes from a parent. Now, if you have several characteristics that make us think you might have an inherited susceptibility, you can receive genetic counseling and testing or just the testing and then if you have a mutation see a counselor. The way we figure out whether or not you have an inherited susceptibility to cancer that you can pass on to your offspring is by taking a complete family history on both sides of the family. So both the mother and the father can have genes that are passed on to the kid. These are not uh, linked to one parent or another. And if their family history is compelling, so there are multiple family members with breast or ovarian or other cancers, and there are also people with more than one cancer, so a relative has breast and ovarian, or breast and endometrial cancer in the same person, or somebody in the family was affected at a young age. And by that, we mean usually um, less than 50 years old, that will start to look like there may be an inherited susceptibility in your family. What if you don't know your family history? Well, we'll just look at the tumor characteristics. Now, regardless of your family history, if you have what we call a triple negative breast cancer, we do recommend that you have genetic testing. Again, this is to look to see if you have an inherited gene 
from parents that you may not even know. Let's say you were adopted or you're estranged from your family, but a triple negative cancer, we look for um, inherited susceptibility to breast cancer. It's much more common in people with triple negative cancers. How do we do genetic testing? Well, it can be done as easily as a swab from inside your cheek uh, or saliva or sometimes a blood test. You may have heard of tests that you can do on your own and send those away. We talk about those in another video, but all of these are talking about the same thing. Did you inherit a gene that is responsible in part for your cancer? If you have a gene, there is generally a 50-50 chance that you'll pass that gene on to each of your children. So if one child has the gene, the other child's likelihood of having the gene is completely independent. It's not more likely in one child than another. It's 50-50 for each. Why would you wanna know? Because there are things we can do to help catch cancer early and there are also treatments that will probably move into the prevention phase pretty soon for people who have an inherited susceptibility to cancer. So I hope I've answered your question. Most breast cancer is not due to a gene that we inherit from our parents, about five to 10%. So one in 10 to one in 20 people with breast cancer will have an inherited, inherited susceptibility that's more likely with triple negative breast cancer. It's more likely if there are multiple affected family members, and it's more likely if people are young in the family who had cancer or people had more than one cancer in the same person. The genes we talk about being abnormal in cancer cells are different. Those are when the genetic apparatus, if you will, or building blocks of the cell are abnormal. And that's the case for nearly every cancer, but those are not passed along. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, click like and subscribe. You can drop a comment or question below. Uh, follow us on Instagram, and don't forget you can go to yerba.com to get your personalized reports.